when we were coming up here to make the pilot, we were looking around for period train, but these, these early locomotives were not what you think. They were smaller. They weren't these huge engines that you see in, in some pictures, even period pictures. There are not very many that exist. The steam engine 1860s locomotive was the real workhorse that you know, brought everything west. You know, before that, they had to go around Cape Horn and, and, and use a, a ship, but as soon as they started getting track in, these period locomotives were the real, the core of the whole machine, as it were, to make the railroad. We saw all kinds of trains that were like from the 1950s, 1900s, 1910s. You know, we saw tons of sort of options, but none of them were good. They really didn't speak to the time that we were in. So I thought the only way to do it would be to build the train. Everybody thought that was insane. I thought, oh God, that's the worst idea I've ever heard. You're thinking that you're going to build that? Yeah. So we built the train and it, you know, it went well. And he, in three weeks, built us a functioning period locomotive. The train itself is historically accurate. It's taken from a uh, period train. It's built from styrofoam and wood. The, the wheels are made of steel, but everything else on it is styrofoam and wood. It's just kind of movie magic. We have a vehicle that moves the train along the tracks, which, if it's in the shot, we'll digitally erase later. From the beginning, we didn't have a clue what we were going to do. We didn't know if we could make it move. The carpenters just kept plowing it out and the painters were painting it. My favorite set is, is the train, for sure, the engine. It's um, just because of the, the, the collaboration that happened with that. I was able to take the 3D drawing and break it into all the different elements for all the different departments to work on. And we sent a drawing over to the foam shop and they cut all the pieces that were foam. We sent the drawings off for the special effects department and they built all the undercarriage and all the moving parts, the wheels and everything. Another set went to the carpenters, they built the majority of the framework. And to see all that come together so quickly, and in the end, you know, you see this train and it looks real, it was really rewarding. In the building of the train, the hardest part was to find the train wheels of close to the right period or the right period. None of this locomotive is real at all. We, it's all been built from scratch. The wheels, because we couldn't find any in the time we had to actually purchase them. These are all built out of flat bar and structural tubing steel that we built ourselves. We had a company bend it around for us and we just welded it all together over the course of about two weeks. Basically a car axle type bearing that we mounted inside of here. And this was a bit of a hard one to do to get the math and all the angles just right so they both turn in unison without fighting each other. We found on this track it hasn't been that much fun because there's a few bumps and when they hit a bump because there's no suspension to this train, one will jam and the other one has to fight and pull it around. It makes a big racket. But it all works. For the most part, when the train moves, we have steam sources along the sides, either side, that we use liquid CO2 to, to make because it's too hard to pull a big boiler with what we have. That gives us the nice white clouds that puff out. And up in the smokestack, we have a, a white smoke, just a fog machine that we have inside. That's when the train's always at idle. It's always smoking a little bit. And when it's moving, we have black smoke comp we use to light off. And, it's a great big cloud of black smoke and some nice sparky embers. Looks like this thing's really working and chugging along down the track. And construction took care of the rest of it. Big group effort to make it look like what it is. When we got it all out here, and the first day of shooting, I, was, I came and was walking around, and actually David and the crew applauded me. It totally made a statement of the place and time. Hell on Wheels Season 1 is now available on iTunes. iTunes.com slash TV slash Hell on Wheels. For more exclusive video, go to AMCTV.com.